Hello, welcome in the second part of Arduino Temperature Logger tutorial. This part is concerned with software. And first we will look at the Arduino code. Here we have four libraries, one for communication with temperature sensor, this one, uh, one for uh, for temperature sensor itself, the third for um, SD SD card reader, and uh, library for communication with the SD card reader. Here we define um, one wire communication at port two. Mm, then we set up the device, which in this case is the temperature sensor. Mm, here we declare the file uh, file variable the temp uh, temperature variable which stores the temperature number variable which is responsible for storing the entry number and uh, all variables which are responsible for for current time timestamp. Mm, I also check if it's a leap year or not. It's important for February because, as you know, mm, during leap year, February has 29 days instead of 28 days. Then mm, mm, we initialize we declare the sensor mm, variable and then there is a setup function here we initialize serial port SD card as well as temperature sensor in main loop first I check if the year is leap year or not then when I should change minutes I set up the program so that the read from the temperature sensor is acquired every five minutes. Here, I, here is formula for changing hours, so it changes when minutes are zero and hour is less than 24. Then there's formula for changing day of the week, mm. and next is changing date which is day of the month in 30 days 30 day months then there are formulas for for changing day of the month when it's February mm, and 31 day months next is changing year and then we get to this sensor we request mm, data from sensor and then we get the temperature and it is assigned to variable temp and then next it is printed with serial port so that uh, python script can get it and final part is concerned with saving this temperature on SD card so I assign sd.open function to the logs variable which is file variable and it takes two parameters first parameter is file name and the second second uh, parameter is the operation we want to do with file so I choose file write because I want to add some text to the file and if everything is okay it's okay I add this line sep equals uh, comma because without it Excel 2013 and newer editions I guess doesn't recognize this file as CSV and then I just print everything to the file first uh, entry number then temperature hour 
minutes, day of the week, day of the month, month itself and year. When everything's alright, I print to this serial, mo serial port saving successful and I close the file. In order to make sure that everything's alright, I open the file and close it again with the um, flash function, which is standard SD function, SD library function. Then I use delay to wait 5 minutes to get another another read from sensor and I finally I add plus one to the number of entries now let's try if it works with the as the card reader in order in order to get the results quicker I've changed this delay to two seconds because we will get the temperature reads faster and for the purpose of the video it's better I guess so you can you have also bear in mind that first you have to unplug it your Arduino place the SD card in your slot and then turn on the Arduino because um, it was then it will start recording data on SD card if you do it after the Arduino uh, was turned on uh, then it will st uh, not start from uh, entry 0 but from some further points ok let's now hook up the Arduino to the to the computer now let's see if the whole thing works I will open the serial port and as you can see it works so you can take the micro SD from your slot even if Arduino is still working I will now close the serial port and take the micro SD card from the slot put it into the adapter and as you can see it works you can see the entries here it works as it should it doesn't show the appropriate date because I didn't set it up you have to bear in mind that this date our minute day date month and year have to be adjusted before each recording because Arduino Arduino yes Arduino doesn't have a real time clock built in so you have to adjust it every time now when the Arduino sketch part is completed we move to the Python script as you can see it's very short and simple but it works fine in order to run it you will have to install Python 2.7.10 it can work with other versions but I didn't test test it test the script with them so you can you have to go to um, python.org org slash downloads and uh, slide a little bit down and here's the version you click download choose an appropriate version it's very simple to install however you might need to add python to path if you are on windows mm, i will not show it here but i will uh, link a video in the description what else do you need? You need ubdat uh, library and PySerial library. Mm, when you've got the you've got the Python and 
PIP added to the uh, path it's very simple to install them we we'll just simply um, open a command prompt and type PIP install the UB dots and press enter and it installs automatically so if you don't have these libraries UB dots and pi serial pi serial we will have to install them um, so the co as I said the code is very simple uh, first we import libraries UB dots library time library and serial library then we create API variable it's variable which holds key of ubidats account we'll move to this a little bit later uh, then ser variable which is which holds the communication with a serial port of Arduino here you we'll assign your port mine is com6 but it can be different for your uh, computer you will have to check it in the device manager I will have to hook it hook up the Arduino to the computer to show you you go to computer properties uh, device manager and then you have to look for ports and here is USB serial my is com6 your can be different I don't know how it works on Linux or Mac because I don't use them you will have to check it on your own mm, here we set up a baud baud rate and timeout to zero and then here we mm, use a variable to assign variable from ubidats to which we will send the data and then display it in the web here is the main loop which we do infinitely until we close the um, script we assign we create another variable to which we assign six six uh, characters from the from the serial port and then we check if it's a minus for negative values or it's a number if the current temperature value is mm, a positive value it goes up to 9 then we create another variable in order to uh, convert uh, the value red from the serial port into a float because we cannot send string to ubidats it will return an error and finally there is a variable which sends the this value to the internet before I will show you how it works we will create a new account on ubidats so that you will know how to get the account key and variable key so how that's how ubidats web page looks right now I will create a new account it loads for a few seconds username test ub okay so we've created the account Now I will log in, sign in, and that's how the dashboard looks like. 
I don't need an introduction. I will delete all the widgets that are set here by default. We don't need them. We're gonna create our own widget. But first thing first, mm, in order to get your account, you have to click on the name of your profile, then click my profile, and here you have settings, click API keys, and here's your key. Mm, and we're going to use it in this variable, just paste it. then we have to create a source mm, add data source Arduino it can be my Arduino for this purpose I don't need a tutorial for now mm, we click, then we have to click on our data source add variable we'll choose this icon because we're gonna send temperature I'm gonna name it my temperature. Mm, scroll down, type normal, create, and our variable is created. We click on the variable, and here's the ID, which is key for this variable. We paste it to this variable and it should work now I press F5 to compile the script oh I have to turn on the Arduino first so uh, now I press F5 mm, save ok and it works because there is no error sending successful so the data was sent and to check it we'll have to go to our dashboard and then add a new widget add widget I prefer line chart My then we select data source and the variable so we click finish and here you can see the variables now I will touch the temperature sensor so as you can see the temperature rose to 22.25 now I will leave it so it should go down again and as you can see it works you can embed in you you can embed this um, reader in your website or you can share it with uh, other people mm, so as you can see it works just fine and there are a few settings like uh, y minimum value x minimum value amount of data points to display and shift series I think that this covers this tutorial, I hope you liked it, thank you for watching, if you have any questions please leave them in comments, see you.